layout of a proof, the equal angles proof. For the last few videos, I have been doing examples of proofs to show you how they're done. And you can use them to reflect back on to help you do your homework or to do your homeschooling or pass your GED, whatever it is you're trying to do. So in this one, we're doing the equal angles proof. So we have two angles and they're supposed to be equal. The measure of this one and the measure of this one are supposed to be the same. Number one, I made a pink one and an orange two so we could discern them apart in our work. So we have our drawing above the proofs table like we're supposed to. Our proof table has statements on the left and reasons on the right. And we have our given and our thing we're supposed to prove right here. So let's take a look at it. Given the measure of angle one equals 35 degrees. Okay, well, let's do that then. Let's say that that's 35 degrees because they're telling us it is. It's given, okay? The measure of angle two is equal to 35 degrees. Hmm. Okay. They want us to prove that the measure of angle one is equal to the measure of angle two. Well, it's kind of silly because they just told us that they were both 35 degrees, but just because they're both 35 degrees does not m prove that they're equal to each other. Okay, that's what they're trying to tell us. Eh, I know it's silly, but here we go. So, we're trying to prove that these two angles are equal to each other, even though we know the given is this. So, we bring over our given, and we put it in our table right here, and we say the measure of angle 1 is equal to 35, and the reason is it's given. And we bring this over, the measure of angle 2 is equal to 35 degrees, because it's given. And, we bring our prove over, the measure of angle 1 is equal to the measure of angle 2. Why? Transitive. Just writing that one word is enough to get you an A on your homework. That's enough to get you to pass the GED because it's an acceptable answer. Now, here's what this really, really means, okay? Here's my notes on the side. The measure of angle 1 on the left side is 35 degrees. The measure of angle 2 on the right side is 35 degrees. The measure of angle 1 is equal to the measure of angle 2 because of the trans transitive principle or transitive property that says if two quantities are equal to the same quantity, then the two quantities are equal to each other. So that's our proof. So we can say we proved that this is true. If we said that the measure of angle 1 is equal to the measure of angle 35 and the measure of angle 2 is equal to the measure of angle 35 and our reason was given, then we'd have to say that was inductive reasoning and not deductive reasoning. Silly as it sounds. Yep. So that's how you do the layout of a proof for an equal angles proof. We're going to do another one in our next video, number 42. I'm going to do a layout of a proof of an angle bisector proof. See you next video.